Phil Mickelson says live on rise and PGA Tour trending downward. Back in Saudi Arabia for the first time since his disparaging remarks about the source of Live Golf's funding, Phil Mickelson said Thursday he was glad he was on the winning side and that he sees the PGA Tour trending downward, and he also denied doing the notorious interview with writer Alan Shipnuck. Mickelson had said a month ago that while the PGA Tour had all the best players in the world for the past 20 to 30 years, that would never be the case again. He came out even stronger in a news conference for the Live Golf Invitational Jetta which starts Friday at Royal Greens and King Abdullah Economic City. I think going forward you have to pick a side. You have to pick what side do you think is going to be successful. And I firmly believe that I'm on the winning side of how things are going to evolve and shape in the coming years for professional golf, Mickelson said. We play against a lot of the best players in the world on live and there are a lot of the best players in the world on the PGA Tour. And, until both sides sit down and have a conversation and work something out, both sides are going to continue to change and evolve. And I see Live Golf trending upwards, I see the PGA Tour trending downwards and I love the side that I'm on. In an interview with Ship Nuck, who published an unauthorized biography of Mickelson in May, the six-time major champion referred to the Saudis as scary mother f, ers to get involved with. We know they killed, Washington Post reporter Jamal, Khashoggi and have a horrible record on human rights. They execute people over there for being gay. Knowing all of this, why would I even consider it? Because this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to reshape how the PGA Tour operates, Mickelson is quoted as saying. The interview was published two weeks after Mickelson played in the Saudi International at Royal Greens. Mickelson issued a statement after the interview saying his comments were off the record and shared without context. On Thursday he said I never did an interview with Alan Shipnuck. And I find that my experience with everybody associated with Live Golf has been nothing but incredibly positive and I have the utmost respect for everybody that I've been involved with. Mickelson, Dustin Johnson, Brooks Kepka, and Bryson DeChambeau were among several major champion Saudi-funded Live Golf signed to contracts reported to be in the $125 million range. Live Golf currently has 12 of the top 50 players in the world ranking, British Open champion Cameron Smith at number 2 is the highest while the majority of them are outside the top 25 because Live Golf hasn't received world ranking points since it began in June. The PGA Tour still has a majority of the current stars, 19 of the top 20, and starts a new schedule in 2023 that will bring the best players together some 15 times a year playing for $20 million prize funds. These are some of the changes Mickelson wanted all along. The PGA Tour has suspended him and other members who signed with Live Golf which is the main plaintiff in an antitrust lawsuit scheduled for a January 2024 trial. Live Golf has 48 man fields with no cut over 54 holes playing for $25 million each week. Dustin Johnson already has made over $30 million, including an $18 million bonus for clinching the individual points race. Mickelson was seen as a chief recruiter for Live Golf leader Greg Norman, and it was his comments in February that slowed the inaugural year of Live Golf. This summer has made clear the big divide in golf, with the PGA Tour and European Tour wanting no part of anyone who is signed to play with Live Golf. The US Open and British Open had allowed Live Golf players to compete if they were eligible, though both organizations spoke out against the rival league. The Royal and Ancient asked Norman not to take part in the 150th anniversary celebration at St Andrews in July. Mickelson said golf is very lucky to have Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund invest in the sport. Along with enormous money paid to live golf players and purses, it has invested $300 million in the Asian tour. Now the United States and the UK are not favorable to this, Mickelson said. Now the United States and the UK are not favorable to this. Mickelson, 52, signed with Live Golf in June, one year after he became the oldest major winner at the 2021 PGA Championship for his sixth major title. In six appearances with Live Golf, he has registered only one top 10, a tie for 8th outside Chicago, 7 shots behind Smith. He contends Live Golf has reinvigorated him and made him excited to compete. I love the experience. I love the way they treat us. I love the way they involve us and listen to us in decisions, he said. I love the experience. I love the way they treat us. I love the way they involve us and listen to us in decisions.